which means I'm not working, and that means I'm gonna go to the thrift store, maybe the bookstore, maybe the art store, and definitely gonna go to the park. Hey there, my name is Cyan, and welcome to my channel. I'm an artist from Cleveland, Ohio, and a few years ago, I gained some confidence in my work. So I got on social media, did a few art shows, created album art, and it was even interviewed for my local news for painting a piano. Shortly after that, I started to get in my own head. I got in my own way with something called imposter syndrome, which is pretty common. I suppose I started to doubt myself more than ever, wondering if my art was even good enough for the recognition it received, but it's pretty common and a few months later I have a new perspective and new ideas. I naturally gravitate towards surrealism, but not just because it looks cool and interesting, but because I innately have this irresistible desire to gaze introspectively and somehow connect that with my role to humanity. And I already know a lot of people are rolling in their eyes when I say something like this. And it wouldn't be the first time, a big reason why I quit my art is for rude comments, people I knew, people I didn't know, just insinuating or just plain out saying that I sound pretentious for having a deeper outlook on life. Um, I've always been that way since I can remember being able to think, being able to communicate words. I've always been a deep thinker, so I let that get in my head, but I really do think it's a gift, and in today's insane world with so much suffering, corruption, and really nasty things going on, I, I think that it calls for deep thinking and introspection and trying to understand our relationship with each other and ourselves. So I don't think that that's pretentious. Um, some people might be that way, but that's not me. And I don't need to prove myself in that regard. I really was trying my best to make a decent, very decent watercolor painting, but it got really cold out, so my hands were pretty numb. I went home a little earlier than anticipated. I thought it was relatively warm outside, which I have a weird condition with my circulation in my hands and did not want to put myself through that. <laughs> Terrence McKenna has said so many profound things. Um, if you haven't heard of him already, YouTube has a plethora of all of his talks when he was alive. But he's right. He often talked about not consuming any kind of culture. I think we're bombarded constantly with so many opinions, so many different styles of communication. And as I put my art out there with intentions to just make something new, experiment of course, there's always that element of experimentation. I am by no means with my skill set where I want to be, but I really want to put my art out there with the intention of possibly opening someone's mind even slightly to a new perspective. I think that that's what art should do. I think that's its purpose and the spectrum of mediums and styles that it has to offer. And it's really hard to incorporate this in our everyday mundane lives with our full-time jobs or whatever we're doing. I just strongly encourage everyone, including myself, to keep pushing that forward. So it's the morning and I only have like 30 minutes to do something before work. Just had some other stuff to do, chores, fun stuff. So I'm going to try to paint for a little bit. Even though it was just a few months of 
stepping away from art. I think I definitely needed this time to reevaluate my artistic approach to slow down and find a healthy way to get back to that inspiration. As it's probably obvious to tell right now, this is my first time fully incorporating oil paints into my style. Not that I've never used it before, but I'm damn near close to being pretty much a beginner with oil paints. And I've done some research and try to understand basics, but starting this piece off was just a nice way to have fun with it and play around with it and get an intuitive feeling with the oil paints before I get hard on myself again. So I'm still in this in this funk a little bit of, you know, fighting that self negative self-talk, but I kind of like this piece, I'm not going to lie. I'm not great with, you know, anatomy or realism. So I did my best, <laughs> took my time, and I enjoyed it. I ended up deciding to call this painting Metamorphosis. I hope that speaks to the subject matter of this video, getting back at it, and the transformation we're all capable of.